Now, welcome back, everybody, to the channel. Today, we're back in the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in the Grand Canyon. Very interesting, huh? What is more interesting, though, is what we actually can find in the canyon here in the Flight Simulator. Yes, um, this is an aircraft carrier that's right in front of us. Maybe attempt a landing or something like that. Yep, see, landing on this aircraft carrier is extremely difficult because it does not have any, you know, stopping mechanisms that the aircraft carriers normally have. You know, the ropes. And it doesn't even move, either. It's obviously not... Not moving. It's quite beached, I would guess. Okay, come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, good. I mean, as long as we stopped, which we, uh, which we have done now. So, no, really, what this really is, is this aircraft carrier group add-on here that we can download for free on the internet. And it actually adds aircraft carriers worldwide. Here's actually a map, and there's recently been this new update. I've never actually talked about this. You guys really wanted me to talk about this. Um, yeah, this is a worldwide map of all the aircraft carriers you can find here, and actually they modeled those very interestingly. We have very old-school style aircraft carriers. This, for example, is one from, I think, World World War II or something like that. Very nice and old school. It's got a wooden deck, isn't it? And then we have this one right here, a French one. Well, we're gonna check those out, but of course the most interesting one so far has been uh, this one right here. What did it say here? USS Prince of Wales has been purchased from the UK and flown to the death of the Grand Canyon. Star Wars Canyon was too candy ass. What is that supposed to mean? I mean, there's one other interesting one that's like in the middle of not ocean, let me just say that, in the middle of land. Taklamahan Desert? What is that supposed to be? Strange things happen in the desert. Okay. Okay, so, welcome to the desert. Yeah, this is actually really just supposed to be a free add-on, a free way to get aircraft carriers added here. We've got a giraffe. Which is weird because we're kind of in the on the Asian continent, right? Why, why is there a giraffe here? Why is this super duper beast aircraft carrier here? Anyway, I think this aircraft carrier is actually from China. It has the Chinese flag, so that's just something that you might want to just know. I'm not quite sure what this video honestly is. Let's go ahead and try to take off. This is actually the first aircraft carriers I've ever seen really with a ramp. It doesn't really help a lot, does it? There's an airship up there. Wait, no. I see opportunity where I see it. Let's go and try and land on this airship. Yeah, I'm not quite sure about the seriousness of this aircraft carrier model add-on thing. And actually, you know, this is actually really nice. We have, like, a lot of worldwide versions, but, you know. A lot of messing around is there, too. Um, well, but anyway, let's go ahead and actually perform a bit of a, a GTA 5 dream of us, okay? So we're just going to... Oh, that's been the most disappointing moment of my life. Ah, oh, great. Oh, there's another aircraft carrier here. Should we check that out? Oh, wait, it's not even an aircraft carrier. It's a, it's a container ship, apparently. Why is there in a container ship? I don't really get this flight simulator sometimes. There are just we indeed very weird things happening here. What's this aircraft? There's another aircraft carrier we've not seen before. What is that guy doing here? Oh, I think this is actually an interesting type of aircraft carrier. This is actually only made for helicopters, uh, which means that it's even shorter and, you know, really not big enough for airplanes. That's just nice to see that just crash into that one. Yeah, deserved. Because helicopters. Anyway, let's actually try to use this add-on like it's seriously supposed to be used. Let's maybe try some actual water-based aircraft carriers. How about that? Let's maybe go to this interesting place called Point Nemo. We all know and love it. There we go. Very interesting place to put an aircraft carrier, of course. Point Nemo, the furthest you can get away from land. In fact, the says on Citation CJ4 couldn't even fly here ever or fly out of here ever. Look how far the way this is from the land. All right, so welcome to Point Nemo. We're actually back with live weather, actually. This is interesting. And there's quite a few boats here around us, so we're not alone. That's uh, a good thing. I'm not really quite sure about the seriousness of this add-on. Holy moly, what's this? What was this? <laughs> the little toilet. And I like how there's like another private jet here that could never operate on an aircraft carrier. Landing here would just fall off when you would try to land here or something like that. Way too big of a plane. Anyway, let's go ahead and take off. And this is an interesting one here. Well, what is this? An, a house? A literal house on an aircraft carrier? Why not? And we're, we're dead? Are we? Are we dead? Okay, a bit of water skiing. But now we're off to go. And we've got another ship right here. This is a normal forgot tape with a helipad on. Why am I talking about these things? But this is actually very interesting. You know, marine aviation. Yeah, let me try something serious, though. How about this one right here? We have a World War II Atlantic convoy here below Iceland. 
which actually displays the real HMS Illustris. Okay, let's try that one. All right, here we go. Oh, damn, that's a really, really small aircraft carrier. Holy moly, what the hell can fly here? I mean, of course, we have our little catapult system here in front that will help us take off and our little rope catching system here that will actually help us land. But what the hell are those planes here? I mean, okay, I kind of forgot that this is World War II, obviously. Planes weren't all too big there. But look at this. This is like a proper convoy here. Alright, I'm pretty sure in like a few months or something, I'll have totally forgotten that I have installed this add-on, right? And, and then I'll just fly across the Atlantic and I will see this huge convoy. I'll be frightened to death. I mean, look at this. This is huge. Wow. Oh, and you guys have found another interesting aircraft. What is this supposed to be? An aircraft carrier or, or what is this? Uh, oh, we can land on it. Well, that seems like an interesting opportunity, right? Let's maybe try to do a proper landing uh, uh, in any way in, in this video, because we have not done that just yet. But to finally land something properly here in any way, we need something smaller. Uh, how about... Oh, yes. Let's grab the Douglas DC-6. The plane that can apparently, according to me, actually land everywhere. Let's see if it can land on an aircraft carrier that doesn't function properly. Let me try... Uh, Carrier Newfoundland, how about that? Alrighty, welcome to Canada here in this Douglas DC-6. Actually, this plane still flies around a lot in the real Canada, right? Because it can fly everywhere. Also, it crashes quite a lot because it's a plane from 1946. Anyways, let's go. What am I doing? Let's go in for a landing. The thing is, this plane can fly at incredibly low speeds. Well, it used to at least be able to do that. What the hell was that? And that gives us the ability to land at um, a few places. Apparently not an aircraft. Why does this not work? Come on. More speed, more power. I think this add-on is actually genuinely broken. I've always had issues with it now. Got gotcha. Alright, man. Come on. Let's give this video some meaning here. Well, in this grand caravan, says now right here, it literally can fly everywhere. Please, let it be able to fly here. Oh, no. It's the weird Cessna again that has, like, a pilot's head here. Come on. There you go. We're only instead of the hair now. That's better. As you can see, you know, aircraft carriers are quite useless when they don't have the necessarily stopping facilities that they normally have. Come on. There you go. Jesus Christ. Just stop. Damn. Those planes have to be very picky on the runway sides today. You really gotta force them to stop. I don't even crash them to, at this point. Great. But yeah, this is just the free aircraft carriers for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Are they good? No, because you cannot really use them. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Block, Emmett, Hay, Mubarak, Mike, Ethan, Darren, Stefan, Ian, uh, Oman the Human, Rafael Brokowski, Junk in the Trunk, Moritz, uh, Toby, Great Grandpa John, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, New York, uh, Tyler Park, Cheese Doritos, Shadow, Anime Planes 001, X Men Show, Laird, the Slama, Puturing, Kellen, Me by You, Captain Cameron, Spiro, uh, Gary, Norwegian, Bajel, and Paralogy.